So a lot of people, their initial reaction when they see free skates is like, this must be like kind of an impractical toy, right? You know, like you have to carry them exactly where you go and you can only free skate in one spot, but that's not totally accurate. In fact, because JMK free skates have such big, wide wheels and they're actually a very soft material, they're much more capable off-road than you would expect. So today we're gonna to be going around to 10 different off-roading uh, surfaces and trying our hands at a little off-road free skating. All right, so we're gonna start with the best surface ever. This is Liberty Station. It's literally an outdoor roller rink and it has the smoothest concrete ever. As you know, I love my throw tricks and throw tricks are some of the most sensitive tricks to the surface that you're doing them on. So that's why we drive out here all the time and practice right here on this little roller rink. Basketball courts will do as well. Um, sometimes tennis courts, but you have to be careful because sometimes the, the ground is soft. The second surface is gonna be underwater. Just kidding. It's actually brick. Brick is obviously just a bunch of cracks in the ground, so with any kind of crack in the ground, you want to make sure your weight is evenly distributed between your skates. That way not one skate is gonna get like dug in. You're gonna wanna keep your knees bent to absorb all those little bumps. And it's important to keep your speed up on this surface as well as many others. It can actually be more dangerous to go slowly than it is to be going like a medium pace. This is because like if there's a pebble or a crack or something that's gonna stop your wheels, if you don't have enough momentum to get over it, it's just gonna completely stop your skate. So keep your speed up and you'll be totally fine on brick. The third surface, we're standing on it right now, is gravel. So this gravel here um, is a part of a path, so it's very much stamped down. Um, you can pretty much ride over this just like regular concrete. Uh, you do need to keep your speed up a little bit and you need to watch out for rocks. Luckily here, they're all pretty small. Riding on gravel a lot can kick up a bunch of dirt and get dust inside your bearings. Um, so if you do end up riding on gravel a lot, you'll have to uh, clean your bearings more frequently. Probably the most surprising surface that you can ride on with free skates is grass. I'm gonna see if I can do this whole section right here. Most important part of riding on grass, keep up the speed and keep the weight between your feet even so that you're not pushing down too hard on one skate or the other. So for the next section of this video, we're gonna head back to the JMK Ride HQ. Before we go into JMK, let's point out this horrible rough pavement down here. Bunch of stones and other crap and a bunch of divots and cracks. So let's do some free skating. <laughs> That's why you don't skate on rough pavement. Try again. I almost broke my leg. Try again. Ready? How is it? It's horrible. <laughs> I want to get that. If I can go fast enough. No. No. I'm literally crumbling. Oh. I almost lost my skate before getting there. Do a throwback. <laughs> All right, we made it to JMK. Let's go in. Yes. Oh, I was hoping you would come out and be like. For number six, we walked up the block a little bit and found this dirt road. It's pretty similar to the gravel. I've plotted out my course and I'm gonna go right down the middle. 
Tips for riding down a dirt road on free skates? Just send it. You start to really appreciate that free skates are not attached to your feet. <laughs> Try this at home. And the seventh surface we're gonna be looking at here is loose rocks. Um, as you can see here, we got some loose rocks. So the key here is you gotta look and see the natural ink. No, you can't ride on loose rocks. What did you expect? <laughs> Okay, so we've skated down here to the PB boardwalk, uh, and this is number eight, which is sand on concrete. This is something we deal with all the time uh, while we're out here skating, which we do like every Friday and like during the week, definitely. Um, basically, just try not to turn too sharp, try not to carve too sharp, because uh, the sand turns into little balls and, and slides your skate right out from under your feet. Sand on concrete totally screws up throwbacks. It makes them rotate super weird, but you can use sand on concrete to your advantage uh, to do like really cool slides. Like you can do backside slides, frontside slides. All sorts of slides work really well, or even shove -its. Matt does some shove -its. Yeah, so let's check it out. Surface number nine is sand. Now over here, you can see sand on concrete, transitioning into sand, clearly demonstrating the effect of sand on free skates. I'm gonna need new bearings. Last but not least, surface 10 is behind me. It's water. Any kind of wet concrete or wet surface, snow, ice, all of that is awful for free skating. If you have to ride through a puddle or something like that, make sure that you effectively dry off your wheels afterwards by uh, pumping a little bit very carefully before you get comfortable again and start trusting the friction of your wheels on concrete. Because water with these big soft wheels gets right underneath it and it makes it super slippery. If you get a decent amount of water on your skates, you might want to take out your bearings and let them dry before applying a little bit of lube to keep them from rusting. All right, everybody, I am covered in sand. My skates need a lot of cleaning. I hope this video demonstrated to you that free skates are super versatile and are able to go over some crazy surfaces out there. We have another video about using free skates as transportation and commuting on them. Uh, make sure you check that one out right here. Check out another video on our channel right here and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching, roll with us.